Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the Vector CRB, a high caliber carbine with a unique recoil reducing action, taming the powerful 45 ACP round. The Vector's damage is good, with this weapon taking the trophy for highest per shot damage within the SMG class. Up close, you'll need three shots to kill, or two shots where one is a headshot. At a distance, you may need up to five shots to kill. In addition, the Vector also enjoys assault rifle grade penetration, which means your bullets will have a much easier time cutting through thin cover to find their mark. Rate of fire is the lowest in tier, however, at 759 rounds per minute. This means accurately directing your shots onto target is critical, as spraying from the hip and hoping for the best may not provide consistent results. Hip fire spread is more than adequate, however, as the Vector is on par in this regard with all other SMGs, but faster firing weapons will have an advantage. Recoil is mild to moderate, potentially hampering your effectiveness at a long range, but combat within closer quarters should be unaffected. Aim time is very quick, at 200 milliseconds, and you'll move at full speed, as with all other SMGs. Magazine capacity is adequate, at 32 rounds or 48 with extended mags but this is joint lowest within the SMG category. The Vector's lower rate of fire makes this less of an issue, of course, and in any case, reloads are quick enough at 2.53 seconds. The Vector's stability and mid-range performance are its key traits, and it's important to preserve them when building your class with this weapon. The foregrip is never a bad attachment choice for any weapon, but when paired with one that rewards accuracy, it's a particularly good match. Lowered recoil means a greater hit probability, and a weapon that is much easier to wrangle at a distance. Adding in the red dot sight will also assist on the accuracy front, and will give you a better view on target whilst moving. For your perks, pair an optic with Stalker, and you can cut a path into enemy territory, always ready to instantly land fire on any targets you encounter. The slower rate of fire means that first shot accuracy is important, and so, keeping your sights up while retaining 100% mobility is a boon. Incoming fire can foul your aim, however, so focus can be a very worthy point spend too. Beyond this, resistive perks can be useful when pushing enemy hardpoints. ICU will speed health recovery significantly, making sequential gunfights less risky. Blast Shield is another good perk to have, especially for objective game modes. You'll be able to soak up the damage from IEDs and grenades and C4 will prove less troublesome too. It can also be worth equipping some tactical grenades. Breaching an enemy position can be very risky, so a concussion grenade or two can help to limit resistance. The Vector CRB is an SMG with rock-steady handling that moves fast and hits hard. It boasts the highest damage per shot up close of all weapons in its class, and is only bested by the MTAR-X at a distance. Paired with an elevated level of penetration, no other SMG can match the Vector's punch, and despite this, the weapon is remarkably easy to handle. With mild recoil, you can easily strike targets at a middle distance, making the Vector a versatile weapon that needn't shy away from engagements while driving into enemy territory. Unfortunately, the lower rate of fire may prove a liability in close quarter gunfights. Unlike the faster firing SMGs, you must ensure every shot counts, so accuracy is a top concern. Firing from the hip will yield inconsistent results, with many other weapons able to outshoot you through sheer volume of unaimed fire. Still, this trade-off earns you a unique blend of stability and power, and you'll find enemies will easily succumb to your assault. As long as you keep your sights on target, you'll be sure to emerge victorious. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time when I'll be covering the fad. Until then, farewell. Well.